oh my gosh, Illuminati, so to self. Because you can, like you said, you can lose yourself in music. What's up, world, and welcome back to another episode of Social Status of Media. As you know, I'm your girl, Lex, and we're here with rapper I Speak With A Gift. Yeah. I, 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 need, I need to hear you do it. I was about to I before know. I so rudely interrupted. <laughs> you see that audience? All right. I Speak With A Gift. Oh. Oh, oh, you. How many times do fans love hearing say, like, hear, you say People, it? let me tell you something. People try and impersonate me all the time. For real? All the time, like. In person, on social media, people <laughs> always be trying to talk like me or rap like me. I find it amusing. You ever had a little kid do it? A little kid? Yeah. Uh, I can imagine like a little bitty voice. Speak I ain't had no little kid. kids do it. I've, I've had little kids dance to my music, though, a lot. Okay. But not try to imitate me. It'd be people like, you know, mm -hmm. that I know. That's cute. Okay. Yeah. A little something, a little something. So let's talk about the Tanaka tape, because okay. that was definitely dope. So, Super high fire. Yeah. So why did you choose 12 tracks instead of, you know, something small? Mm, I actually had more tracks than that. But, you see, I go through this process of narrowing it down. Mm. You know, I pick, like, the best songs because I'm always making music. So I always have a surplus of music. And then I just, you know, pick some tracks that I feel go well together. And then I have, you know, mm -hmm. other people do have their put their input in on it. And then we go from there. So I feel like for this, 12 was a cool number. You know, for you me to get my had point a lot across. Of different producers, too. I did. Why did you choose so many? Because I know other artists normally just pick maybe one, two, but you had like a different one for almost each track, which is actually pretty interesting to me. Uh, well, you know, I have my usuals. I have uh, my cousin and producer out in Atlanta, Cool mm -hmm. Beats. I have. Uh, my homies over at Highlanders, you know, Jay Mees and produced by Ford. And then uh, I have VS Beats. He always hit me with the bangers. So I get stuff from them first. And then I got, like, producers that I've come across. I probably used their beats before. And I go back and see, you know, what new, what's new that they got. If I like what I hear, I use the beat, you know, buy it or if it's free. <laughs> It for free. Do you actually bump your own music? All the time. Really? Like, like it be crazy because, like, I don't even be caught up on recent music. I be, I be caught up. It, my my listening process is weird. Like, for the most part, I either bump myself or, you know, other, lo you know, my friends, stuff like that. Mm. And then as far as, like, mainstream people, like, if they put out something, somebody I listen to put out something new, then I'll listen to that. And I'll listen to it for, like, months before I, like, go listen to other stuff i'll listen right. to the same couple of tapes but i have like all the newest music but i don't just you know I, it just take time for me to get around to all of it because so many people be dropping at once so it's yeah. hard to like stay on top of things you know what i'm saying like i just listened to more life like okay started to like a month ago for the first time mm. and everybody you know everybody else been on it since the day it came out but like it just depends on who it is at the same time like future he drops on Kudos. Love I listen to that day one. Like I'm still bumping <laughs> them two albums he just put out to the to this day. What would you say is your favorite song? Cause like, if you bump your own music, you gotta have a favorite. Mm. Like what? Okay, you made a favorite. No, it, ignore that question. Okay. What is a song of yours that like before you go to a party makes you just hype? Cause Green Scene is mine. Mm. What's yours? Of mine, right? Mm. Um. Probably lock in, maybe. Okay. Or, hmm. Maybe hustle. Either hustle like or lock in. That. Maybe. Now that y'all did Tanaka tape, too. Yeah, both of those are on Tanaka tape. Okay, okay. Now, you always been musically inclined since you were very young, which I do know about. I'm Somewhat, yeah. Somewhat. I was, you could say that, yes. So, what is music to you? Man, music is is everything. You know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like music music can make you feel good, it can help you get over things, it can hype you up. That's primarily what I use it for, to get hyped up. But man, you can get lost in music, you can learn from music. Mm. I love music. 
Now you mentioned getting lost in music, so I have to ask you now. Mm -hmm. So you know, yes, because you have fans yourself. So say, let's say you blew up in overnight. Okay. Now you do know some of your fans are gonna automatically assume, oh my gosh, Illuminati is so to self, because you can, like you said, you can lose yourself in music. So how do you mm -hmm. feel about that when people talk about you know Illuminati music selling soul? Like, mm -hmm. do you think that's even real? It's hard to say, you know. Sometimes mm. there's evidence, but then it could all just be like speculation. That's true. I feel like maybe that applies more so towards like I don't, I don't know about in rap. You right. know what I'm saying? I feel like maybe maybe back in the day, you know, during okay. the death row times or whatever. <laughs> and when folks oh my just god, he off left and right. <laughs> maybe back then, but like. I but as far as today, I don't feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Because like everybody doing independent shit. You know, a lot of people are doing, getting into the industry and doing things on their own. Now it's easier to do things on your own, so you don't need to like be associated with no group or nothing like that. To what if somebody asked you though, like, and I'm not saying it's real or not, cause we don't know. Yeah. But what if somebody really did ask you, like, hey, say your soul food. Two billion dollars. Look, gotcha. you're trying to have people looking for us, talking about Illuminati and stuff. <laughs> have people showing up in my door still like Jehovah's nah. Witnesses and shit. Um, <laughs> man, I'm not finna sell my soul, number one, Good. to nobody. Good. You know? But, um, yeah, that's how I feel about that. How is the day-to-day -day life of I Speak With A Gift? Because I know you got two different e We got to talk about that too, these two different egos. But let's, let's go to this question first. What is it like when you wake up and a song pops in your head? Mm, my daily life is, it depends on the day, really. Sometimes it can be crazy, busy. Sometimes it can be, well, very rarely these days, chill. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But most of the time when I work on music or make music, it's usually at night. I just like okay. the vibe of working at night, you know, get like some colored lights or something. Okay. I just like I just like the vibe when I'm doing stuff. I can't always have that of course, but that's like when I'm working at home in my own space or whatever. But um man, you know, I gotta work if I gotta work that day. But if not, it's usually, you know, making music, doing shows, photo shoots, stuff like that. So how would you describe your music? One word. Awesome. Two words. Super awesome. Oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Got him. Okay. All right. I see what you're doing. Oh, yeah. So if I offered you a million dollars right now, let's say I told you, hmm, let me do the craziest thing I can think of. Okay. You got to run naked. Okay. No, no, no. That's easy. Cause that's so easy. Yeah, yeah you're going to Run naked like, for a million dollars? Okay. Mm. Run me my meal. Huh. What if I told you you had to jump into the Mississippi River? For a million dollars. But you gotta think about it. Sometimes when you jump off cliffs, you may not live. So what if I offered you a million dollars? Where am I jumping from? The bridge. The Memphis Bridge. Uh, million. No, let's do a billion. You trying to kill me. I ain't gonna live. Even if I do do it, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna live to get the million after this. Okay. Would you do it? Somebody yeah, offered you yeah, it? Not from no bridge. I mean, from like, you know. The shore or whatever, you know, from the, the shore. bank. That's not jumping. The shore <laughs> is right bank. there. I sliced that jump from there, but <laughs> other than that. So what if I offered you a million and five dollars? What would you what would be the first things you would do with that? I would buy houses and flip them. Because hmm. I want to spend money in a way that's going to make me more money. Okay. You know, because if you just get money and just spend it on nothing, you're going to be broke eventually. But if you take that money... And you invest in stuff, and, you know, set it up to where you just constantly getting income. You know what I'm saying? You'll never run out. So since you've spoken, I got to ask. So, you know, have you ever noticed how some rappers, they'll be popping, right? Mm -hmm. Cool, you know, making money, music. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, they just blowing money. You know, the guns. Not like guns, but, you know, like the little money guns. Mm -hmm. You know, and, like, just throwing them at strippers. Like, they just do bank. How does it make you feel? Cause it's like, I done seen so many rappers go broke. I mean, the ones I've seen doing it haven't went broke. I mean, if you got it like that, then do it, okay? Mm -hmm. If you if you 
spent your whole life not having shit and then all of a sudden you know your life change and you start getting money and you constantly you keep getting money mm-hmm. and you know if you got it coming in steady like that i don't see nothing wrong with it now if you ain't you know i would say be smart with your money and like i said set it up to where you can make more money right so you don't ever go broke but i mean i don't got no problem with it you know it's it's <laughs> cool to hit the strip club and blow a couple racks every now and then if you got it like that yeah. So how can some of the fans find you on social media? You can find me on all social media at I Speak With A Gift. I Speak With A Gift. I Speak With A Gift. I love, I'm sorry, I love, yeah. I love that love. Speak With A Gift. Yeah. All right, y'all, so you heard it here first. Make sure to follow him. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Toodles, y'all. Love y'all. We will see you next week. Peace out. Break it down when I bring the pack in. Working daily, trying to bring that cash in. Run my racks up, drop a bag of sand.